Okay, so now that we've got the 10 best practices copy in there and the image in there, let's go ahead and work on the copy down below. So we'll, go, we'll scroll down here in the editing tool to the next rich text module and we're just going to go ahead and copy. Well, what are we trying to do here? We're going to try to do this part here, this copy here, uh, the best we can. So let's go ahead and go in there and remove that text and add our own copy here. Okay, let's, uh, I'll, I'll, let me fix that up and, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I've added the copy here and did a little bit of light formatting. And let's take a look at it. So it's down here, you can see the copy. And it's relatively similar to this copy down here. So we're getting there. We're not perfect, but we're getting there. Let's take a look at the form next. Okay, so the form. Uh, the form is obviously a very important part of any landing page. And you can set up a form or add a new form or assign a, an old form to a landing page right within this template. So uh, we created a form earlier. We started a form earlier called Template Editing Example. So let's go ahead and just edit that. If you wanted to create a new one, you could. Uh, remember that what we need here in the form is first name, last name, company, and work email. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just go to contact information and we'll type in first name, drag it, and then we'll type in last name, pick it and drag it over. Okay. Uh, then we want um, company, so that is in company name here, so you can just pick that one and drag it over. And then the last one was uh, email, so uh, let's find that here and bring it down here. Okay, so then real quickly what you can do here is if you want to change the labels on these, no problem. You've got the little editing tool, so you can just go here uh, and change this to just company, I think it was, whatever you want to do there. Um, and then uh, email, I think we call it work email. Okay, great. So that is it for that form. So one last thing we forgot to talk to about, talk about on the form is the submit button, the, uh, the call to action, very important. So uh, it defaults to submit, but you can click on the little uh, pencil icon here and edit it. And I believe we wanted to call the, the our example landing page said access now. So we'll click change that, click done and close. And uh, there you've got it. So then now it's uh, over here in the in the tool, or excuse me, in the uh, in the in the landing page. So that's it for that. Now obviously there's a lot more to to do with a form, a lot more interesting things we can talk about there. Uh, a little bit outside of the scope of this video, but uh, we'll get to it in future videos. So one more thing we should look at is the social sharing buttons okay so uh... the social sharing buttons here down here in the bottom of the tool add a link to your page here and we'll automatically format it for sharing on social networks kinda nice so there's your url that we have here and all you need to do here is just turn them on so just turn on the ones you want and they show up down here at the bottom so you got that part's done Okay, uh, what else are we missing here on this tool, on this uh, landing page? I guess we forgot the, uh, the logo, so let's go ahead and put that in. Uh, that is over here on options, up here at the top. So go up here, collect, uh, see, see logo here, uh, click on the image, select image button, and I think we need to upload another file. Uh, here is the logo example JPEG. Let's go ahead and add that and use it. Okay, so we went ahead and added the logo here in options, and you can see it showing up here on the top part of the page. So how do we do? Here's the, um, here's the original landing page uh, that we're try attempting to recreate at HubSpot, and here is the landing page as it currently stands. Uh, in the uh, HubSpot uh, tool. So um, obviously a little bit of more work that we have left to do here. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I did a little bit of tweaking and you can see that it starts, it's starting to look a lot like the other, the, the original page. So uh, what do we do here? Um, well, real quick, um, there's just a couple things that, that are kind of interesting. 
So in the tool, it's still handy to have some HTML knowledge. So uh, for this second edition, for example, I created it uh, in the orange icon. But then I click on the HTML editor and kind of messed around with the, 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 the color a little bit. Uh, and uh, put a couple break tags in there. Not ideal, but uh, it worked. So uh, I did that for the, for, uh, the second edition piece. Um, you'll also notice that I moved some of the copy up here to get rid of some of the white space. So this copy used to be down in this uh, second uh, text module. I copied it and or cut and pasted and put it up here. And then I um, changed the, uh, the line height a little bit uh, of the different um, the copy. Uh, I changed the line height here and I changed the line height here. So that again, that's HTML. That's here, line height equals uh, 22 in this case. So uh, again, the main point here is it's still nice to be able to tweak your pages with little HTML. Uh, speaking of which, the form. Uh, you'll remember that the form over here was uh, looking a little bit drab. Um, so I, I just uh, made the, the labels uh, bold. And so the easiest way to do that is actually right in the form. So if you go back to the editor, bring that up, you'll see that these are bolded and and the reason why is because this takes HTML right here in the label uh, in the field so I just made these H4 you don't need to make a, make a closing tag in, HT, uh, in, uh, in HubSpot it automatically just does it um, and that's it so that's that okay so uh, we are done um, here are the side-by-side -side examples on the right is the unbounce.com version and on the left is the HubSpot version that we just got done creating uh, obviously not quite the same. I think there's a, the HubSpot version still needs a little bit of work. But uh, the purpose of this video, besides showing you guys how the template works, is also to kind of show you how quickly and easily you can create uh, a world-class template or world-class landing page, I should say, in HubSpot. Um, we probably did this in about 25, 30 minutes. So, um, you know, very little coding, you know, just a few little bits of HTML tweaking here and there. Um, and it looks pretty gosh darn good if I do say so myself. So anyway, uh, that's it for the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. All right. Have a good day.